Well, as we have also seen, inaugural celebrations in Washington are no longer tempered. The release of the hostages brought unleashed joy today. Roger Sharp is standing by in the nation's capital with a complete report on the inaugural festivities. So let's go to Roger live now in the nation's capital, and uh, let's hear what's going on there. Roger? Right outside the White House, Ernie, what a remarkable day it has been. These two historical happenings converging at almost exactly the same minute. I can't really say the hostages detracted or took anything away from the inauguration. It just gave us all two things to think about. As Ronald Wilson Reagan raised his right hand, put his left on his mother's Bible, and repeated the words from Chief Justice Berger. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. A minute before noon, a warm sun covering the throng sprawled on the huge lawn below the west front of the Capitol. Up until the very moment President Reagan began the oath, President Carter had been prepared to announce the good news. But the clock ran out. As the two met in the White House in late morning, the hostages were just being loaded onto buses for Tehran Airport. As dignitaries gathered for the inaugural ceremony, the hostage drama added even more anticipation and electricity to an already electrifying scene beneath the Capitol Dome. The new president's spiritual speech made no mention of the hostages heading home. He summoned Americans to an era of national renewal to conquer the economic crisis. We must act today in order to preserve tomorrow. And let there be no misunderstanding. We are going to begin to act beginning today. With the idealism and fair play which are the core of our system and our strength, we can have a strong and prosperous America at peace with itself and the world. George Bush had formally taken his oath as vice president just before the new president was sworn in. Bush telling us later that actual word to the new administration of the hostage takeoff came on the platform as the ceremony ended, apparently from ABC Sam Donaldson. Well, I, it might well have been one of you guys yelling at him, because that's where we get all our information up till now. I hope the intelligence will be better. The planes bearing our prisoners left Iranian airspace and are now free of Iran. The companion events carried through the inauguration lunch on Capitol Hill, the our old president still sharing his day of destiny with the hostage news. But for the new first lady, nothing could take away from oh, this day in Washington. Subscribe. I was so proud of him and hoping I wasn't going to start to cry. <laughs> you didn't, did you? Came close. <laughs> you said last night it had finally sunk in. Are you, are you convinced now? I think now I am. And how about the new president? Is he convinced? <laughs> yep. Yep. My first response from the new president. As mentioned earlier, his first official act as president was to sign that executive order, putting a stiff freeze on federal hiring, keeping a campaign pledge. The lights have gone out here on our platform opposite the White House. We're having a little trouble with Roger's transmission from Washington. However, hopefully we won't have any trouble as we continue the coverage on Eyewitness News in a moment.